I'm not sure how to proceed. I'm saving money at a good rate, but I only make 60K a year before taxes. So I would need to have as large a down payment as possible to keep monthly fees down. Is there any investment scheme that would help me here? I figured it would be better than just leaving that much money in a savings account doing nothing. But I have some anxiety about investing because I don't want to lose everything I've worked for. So what do you guys recommend? Well, first, congratulations to that person for being the saver of the century <laughs> and putting all that money away. Because it sounds, it sounds like they've done it by just putting it in the bank anyways. So, so they've really earned no money on this money this whole time. And yes, it's always, the fear is always, okay, I saved it. I'm, I'm going to put it in the stock. The day I put it in the stock market, the stock market's going down. Right. Mm -hmm. That's that's what everybody that's what people who have never done it think. But here's the deal. If this person would have put the money in the stock market the whole time. For however many years that was, he may now have. Two hundred thousand dollars. I figure yeah. oh. they're in their late 20s and they started at the age of 16. OK, so. Um, <laughs> For the last 12 years in the greatest bull market in the history of mankind, they were left behind. You know, still, great they saved the money, but if they would have taken just a little risk, invested it in, you know, major companies that aren't going away, or funds by major companies, Vanguard funds and things like that, large cap, they would have made, they would have had a much more money now. And they could buy that property. They'd be already set up. Exactly. And I think, uh, you know, you make the, the great point about, you know, when we're talking about, you know, I think this person asked for investing tips. Uh, you said major companies that or, or even just I think where you were going, the Vanguard, you know, just putting it in the index. You know, if you put it, you know, because this is somebody who's worried about losing all your money. The only way you're going to lose all your money is if you try to be the smartest person in the room and say, I'm going to find the next Amazon, I'm going to find the next Facebook, and you put all your money there. And then, yeah, it could go to zero. But putting it in a index fund, or as Frank said, if you, you find these companies that have been around for 100 years, they're not going anywhere. You know, you would, uh, you know, you, you would be growing your money, and there really is minimal risk. You know, if, if you invest it in the index fund and it goes to zero, you've got bigger problems than that house you want to buy. Yeah. We've all got bigger problems. You're right. So, <laughs> so, so, so really by not having invested all along, they've created a problem because now they have a hundred thousand dollars to invest and everybody's going to tell you, don't put that all in the market at one time, because given our luck as normal human beings, that's going to be the time the market's then going to go down 20, 30 percent. OK, mm -hmm. so even now, the smart advice would be, OK, take a twelfth of that money and invest it every month. Just pick a day, pick your lucky day of the month. I'm going to I'm going to put the money into this fund on the 15th of the month every month so that you'll get some if the market's going up and down like it is now. You'll get some when it's up, you'll get some when it's down, but you're not going to accidentally get it all, put it all in when it's up and then it goes down. Of course, you know, doesn't say, well, you could you could time it, and get it when it's down low. No, well, don't be the smartest person in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be this. Don't try to be the smartest person in the room. So really, they've created another problem by not having invested. Yeah, and I, I totally agree with that, Frank, because the, the last thing I would say on it is, you know, you also brought up they should have been doing this all along. And obviously, there's always the people who don't understand this always have the fear of investing. But you've now created the situation, whereas instead of doing it incrementally over time, and yeah, it'll go up and it'll go down, but you know, you would have made money over that time. Now you're, you know, you're in your late 20s, maybe you're on a little bit more of a time crunch than you were at 16. And so, yeah, there is the incentive to try and put it all in in the next year. And and now you're setting yourself up to, in the short term, to be behind uh, where you 
you are now in case the market does go down in the short run. Well, there was a word in that, uh, in what Bill was reading that scared, scared me to death. And that is what scheme should I put my money into to, to make it grow faster? <laughs> okay. You know, and I may, that just may be the way of talking, but here's, yeah. So they're now they're thinking, okay, I've saved a hundred grand. I want to buy someplace to live. I need 200 grand. How am I going to double that money? And they're not thinking of how am I going to double that money in five years, six years, seven years. I think they're thinking, how do I double it in the next two years? Well, <laughs> that's, that's where you get in trouble. That's where you really get in trouble. So, the, the, the only scheme they should follow is continue their invest, continue their saving and just put so much into the market every month. Go find a good growth fund, good dividend fund, whatever they feel comfortable with. Go do a little research and just put the money in there every month. All right. Good advice. And I, I guess because there was some sort of uh, trepidation about it. it's like, I'm afraid of losing all this stuff. Uh, would there be any points in someone like this talking to um, a broker, talking to like a Morgan Stanley, something like that? There's, there's no problem with that. You know, I, I think this person is going to freak out when they tell them it's going to cost them one and a quarter or one and a half percent per year to, to manage their money. But uh, that might be a good idea because they don't know. You know if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to do something, you know, look, we all used to work on our own cars, right? They were simple. <laughs> we could do it. Now you look under the hood of a new car, and it's like, where's the engine? <laughs> all this plastic stuff. I, I, okay, water pump. Uh, I don't, you know. So so you go get you go get the expert to do that for you because. You just don't know how anymore. If you don't know how to invest, have somebody do it for you. Learn from what they do. Watch what they do. But at the same time, you need to talk to them and make sure they're not going to say, okay, we'll take that $100,000 and we'll shove it in the market all at once. We'll get you fully invested as soon as we can. Okay. You know, that's the time you, you might, you don't have to argue with them because obviously they work for Morgan Stanley and they know more, but you go, okay, you know, maybe I don't want to go to, maybe I don't want to put my money with the <laughs> West Cowboy here. It just wants to get me fully invested. It's, it's all a learning process. It's your money. 